Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have a Scrappy Christmas Crafts with a K project to share with you. Um, I will have a quick tutorial at the end. This is just a cardstock folio um, and it is made with probably like two and a half sheets of 12 by 12 um, when you count like the photo mats, but really for the most part, it's like one and a half if you don't want all the photo mats. Um, but I did use uh, Prima's 25 in Peppermint collection that I got from Country Craft Creations. Um, I used some Scrap Diva dies. I used some ribbon and eyelash trim from my stash. Um, some flowers that I made with some dies. And I think that is everything in here I mean all the other stuff is from country craft creations because um, I use the 100 pound white artisan um, cardstock and I use the spell binders uh, metallic gold cord I love that I love it I love it I love it oh my gosh I love it and I will have like a country craft creations design team project using more of this collection so if you want this collection I would um, get it before it sells out um but yeah so we're just gonna go ahead and get into it and i just have to show you guys because this pink glitter paper oh i'm obsessed obsessed it is pink frosting glitter cardstock from tonic studios craft perfect this again is from country craft creations oh it's so yummy and i'm so mad at myself because I had planned to cut out the middle so I can save that for something else. And I glued both sides down. Oh, I hate wasting glitter. <laughs> glitter cardstock in this one especially is so pretty. I don't even know if it's picking up all the different like colors in the car uh, glitter cardstock. But yeah, you guys know I go to town layering. Um, this is a doily die that I just cut in half. Um, I popped... I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know, right there, maybe I popped both of these pieces up. Um, this part is not in the tutorial, but they do measure. If you wanted to do something similar, they are, the bottom one is four inches by five, and the top one, just because of the cut apart, is three and one eighth by four and one eighth. But again, you could do these any size you want. Um, these are leaf dies. Both these are dies. Um, I did just kind of whiten my leaves up a little bit just so they weren't so bright green. Here is the back. Can you stand it? And of course, I made this one too chunky. So in the tutorial, I'm going to change the measurements just a little bit. And this is like an eyelash tinsel. I don't know, even know where I got this from. Okay, so opens up here. Yeah, I went a little crazy using the same Santa. Oh, well. <laughs> and I, oh, and I used, oh, I just went blank on the colors. Um, Country Craft Creations vellum cardstock. So it's not see-through, but it's made with vellum. Um, the two different pinks. One is bubblegum, and I don't know the other one, but they'll be linked below. Um... And you have this here. Oh, and if you're new to my channel, I'm just rambling, forgetting to tell you that um, Carolina from Carolina's Crafts and myself, we try. We've missed like the past, like, I don't know, two months, three months. I don't even know. We're behind this year. But we try to do a Christmas project every month and post it on the 25th. Mine is a day later. Just because. I just... I'm doing a lot of stuff <laughs> and um, I will link her channel below we have a playlist so you can visit that as well to see other projects but just be sure if you do remake our projects to tag us so that we can see we love seeing what everyone creates so on IG I'm let's get scrappy one um, or you could tag us you know in on YouTube as well so it opens up like this I was doing all my double matting and then I had to stop like, I should have had another mat here. You know, when I say that meaning on the white first, then the pink. But my book was getting too fat. And, you know, I can't even give this to anyone because it's just too tight. 
too tight. So you have this cute little spot here. Again, lots of room. I'm just thinking of like Christmas projects as we're getting closer. We want quicker projects, but you know, you still want them to be meaningful. So this is just taking like the trifold folio card to just, you know, a little bit bigger measurements. And this one has a flap that goes up like so. This one has a pocket and then it goes down like that. And I just use some ephemera pieces and you can still tuck a photo inside there. And this is all, so right here is all one piece, including the bottom pocket here. This is one piece of 12 by 12. No, not this, sorry, right here, right here. Then I add this piece and I add this piece onto our little flap here to create a pocket. This is part of the 12 by 12. So it's really easy to put together and we're gonna do that right now. I just think this paper is so stinking cute. I did use 12 by 12 and eight by eight because I wanted some pops of the gold foil. So like this is 12 by 12. This one is 12 by 12. You guys can see, there you go. But it has a little gold foil. This is eight by eight because there is no gold foil. Um, this one is eight by eight. This is 12 by 12 again, cause I wanted the pops of the gold. So I matted in some pinks and this is the darker pink here but this is the lighter pink of country craft creation so i just was doing it in different spots um but yeah i just think it turned out really cute you guys know i love making card folios um it's easy you don't have to mess around with chipboard none of that so we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna tell you guys what you need so let me grab everything you're gonna need your scoreboard i did round the corners I did use one set of magnets. You do not have to use magnets in yours, but we are gonna have one piece that is 12 by 12. We score, and I have this written on the wrong side, but we score at seven, and then we come back, turn clockwise, and I don't know, everything's not going flat. Um, then we score at five, five and three eighths, and then 10 and 3 eighths and 10 and 5 eighths to get the bigger, we want the bigger gussets because mine was just too, too tight, too chunky monkey. So we'll do that in a second. The other pieces that you'll need is, this is for that middle bottom flap. So five by seven and a half. And on the seven and a half, we're gonna score at a half inch. Then, we want for that top flap, four and a quarter by five. Now I only did that because this cut apart was bigger. So if you want your cut apart to be smaller, then you could definitely change that up. But um, four and a quarter by five, and then I scored at a half inch on the four and a quarter. And then we just have some photo mats. So one that is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then two, if you want them, don't have to have them, but two, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and start with our big piece. I'm telling you guys, this is really easy. Tiffany says this all the time and then it takes her a hundred years. Okay, so first, just score at the seven to get that out of the way. Seven, and then turn clockwise this way. And you're gonna score at five all the way down five and three eighths all the way down, 10 and three eighths all the way down. But on this one, we're just going to that first score line. So 10 and five eighths, just to right there, right there at that score line. Okay, and then the other, let's just get our scoreboard out of the way. So let's do the other two pieces. This flap, boop, half inch on the seven and a half side. And now the four and a quarter side, half inch. And we are done with the scoring. So we have that, set those aside. Now for here, it is easiest to um, fold this way first. And 
You don't have to do it like this if you don't want to. I just find it easier. I just messed that up. No, let me just make sure. Okay, then you're gonna come fold this one and wait on that last little, last little duder. Okay, now I'm going to, I think I just folded those all the wrong way. Yes, I did. I want to go backwards. Which is okay. Paper is all rot. Because I want ours to look like this right now. So this is the front cover. So now we're going to fold up on that 7 inch score line that we have. And I just keep folding like crazy. I don't know why it is moving on me. Okay, well, let's we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> now we are going to just come in, cut this little part out, but go on the outsides of um, your hump because you want these pieces to be a little bit skinnier than what the, like skinnier than five inches wide. So when it folds up, it'll fold up nicely. So I'm to the right of this score line. Now I'm going to be to the left of this score line. I'm going to spit on my paper. <laughs> Boo -boo. I have issues. And just do a dry fit when you fold it all up to make sure it looks good. Like this one looks good because I'm over here. I might have to just take a smidgen off of that one, but I'm going to take off this little tab right there. Okay. And let me just clean this up a little bit. Okay. So let's see. Does that fold? That folds. Okay. Now we're going to cut this one. Just right there to that first, not first score line of the top, but first score line down here. Was it, was it, were those actual like English words I just said? I don't know what just came out of my mouth. And I am going to cut a little extra off. Just a sliver. And I'm going to flip mine back this way because this is now a pocket so we have that and now we're gonna fold this one. Oh, i forgot a piece that's what i forgot i was like why do i have so much paper left over oopsie okay sorry we forgot a piece here we need a piece that is five by seven where is my paper where's my paper I just have my paper. Hold on. Okay. Now let me cut it real quick. Five by seven. Five. And you can do it a little less than five. second and I still when you oh my gosh that's not right not right not right five and a half by seven yep this still would work you could glue three sides down but the true measurement is five and a half by seven and I just wasted my paper oh my gosh okay hold on one sec I'm getting it. This is how we do, people. Constantly 
messing up and constantly walking away from the actual camera all the time. Okay, we're, oh, I'll we'll just use this one. So, and I just grabbed a piece of paper that is a different black. So this is, where are we putting this? Putting this like that. But it is five and a half by seven, and you can go a little bit less than five and a half. And then we're gonna score it half inch, which we just did on the five and a half side. It really is easy when you actually do it right. Okay, so there we go. So I'm just gonna miter my corners. I'm gonna miter my corners for everything. And then we have to do a cut on that pocket, our angled pocket. Okay, so right here, we are going to measure in, mine was like three quarters of an inch. Um, again, I just randomly picked that, don't know why. Okay, let me see what to do. Three quarters of an inch is right about there. And I'm using the white so you guys can actually see where I'm marking. Doesn't have to be perfect. So you have that and then you just take your trimmer and we are going to put those down like that. Put those in. Just wanna make sure you guys can actually see. There we go. Okay, so we have that. Now let's put all of our flaps on. So I'm going to put the middle flap on first. should do a dry fit I did not because you want to make sure yours actually fits in between the two folds if it doesn't you will know because your paper will tell you because it'll be like no ma'am you aren't folding anything up right now and just trim off a little bit if that's the case so let's see this goes under like that let me just see that fits pretty good yep good Okay, now we're gonna put this one on, so press it out to that first score line. And then we're gonna put this one on that is a totally different cardstock. <laughs> it was just on my desk and I grabbed it. But do a dry fit. That is just a smidgen. Big. I'm just going to take off a little bit. Just a sliver. Okay. Now I'm just gluing this hinge to here. And that creates our pocket. And then once we have the flaps on, I'll tell you guys like how the other pockets all close up just by gluing down the edges. But you want to put your pattern paper down first. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just going to nope, I'm gonna want all these in. I just want to do it so I can make sure that it's even top and bottom. And let's get that down. But before you press it all down, make sure it is even. And don't get glue all over the rest of the book like I just did. I can see that I'm off a little bit right there. Okay. Good enough. Maybe I'll make this one a Halloween one. Because I really am trying to use up my Halloween stuff. Well... Not that that actually can happen, but, you know. Okay, so let's pop this back, get it crisp, and if it does not, there we go. Let's just make sure everything closes up nice. There we go. If you, if you need to take off any here to be able to close up yours more, I have plenty of room, you can before you put pattern paper on. So just kind of double check everything first. Now this one goes on this part of the trifle right here. I just like to make sure the glue like gets up in the corners. That's the only reason I'm doing all that. Okay, so again, just you can mark for the center or just eyeball it, which means just kind of trying to center it. Ooh, is that? Oh, I thought that was. Nope, nope, that one's crooked. See, it's moving on me with that glue. It's hard to see black on black. Okay, so, looks like that. And come in, give it a burnish. But basically, we are done. So I did add a magnet here, which I'll just put one on there. Um, where is my pokey tool? This is such a ghetto pokey tool of mine. <laughs> I don't know where my other one's at. So I have the two stuck together and then I am just putting it down, give it a good press, open back up like that. And then you could put tape over it if you want to. I do both. I do usually put tape over mine, but a lot of times I don't either and it works just fine. Okay, so for here you would add glue and I'm looking to see if I have my little runner I'm like all discombobbled one because I'm just a hot mess um two I don't want to put that on there no I don't want to put that on there <laughs> um two because I'm working between oh right in front of me I'm working between two rooms for some crazy reason I started it and now I don't know why so half my stuff is upstairs and half is down here. And it's just, you know, a hot mess over here. So you're going to close up that side. Now you have a pocket. And you could put your little photo mat in there. Then you close up these two sides. And I prefer closing these up with actual, like, square tape because you get a good hold right away. 
But again, you want to put that pattern paper down first before you close that up. And then this one goes in there. Like so, and then just do the same thing for this one and close that up. And that is it. This is like such an easy project. Great for gift giving. But still holds. I mean, right now we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 12 spots if you don't like cover up any of the paper so and that's like big photos obviously you could get more and do small photos but then just make sure if you do ribbon to mark ribbon ribbon so that you know to put your ribbon on there but that is it it comes together really fast unless you're picky with paper like I am and you can't decide all that good stuff I just think it turned out so cute Again, just a fast little card folio, just a different measurement. But there you guys go. And um, like I said, if you do recreate any of these projects, be sure to tag Carolina and myself and make sure to use the hashtag Scrappy Christmas Crafts with a K. Um, I'll drop the links below because um, now I have some design team codes that I can get you guys 10% um, off on some of the stuff. So I will have those links below. But thank you guys so much for watching. And again, let me know what you think. And yeah, that's it. Have fun crafting this weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.